Hey, this would be a video chart on XMDC. Uh, been a while since I did this, but a bunch of requests poured in today, and I can see why. Um, a good day for people that um, were feeling risky. Uh, you know, a bad day for anybody that had bought in up here. Uh, had you felt risky and bought in right when it opened up, you would have had a nice little upwards move here to make some profit. Uh, so the day trader scalpers, you know, had had a really good field day with this one today. Huge volume, very nice liquidity, and uh, you know it did stay green. Uh, this chart's mainly going to be from the daily chart perspective, however, but uh, you know from the day trader's uh, vantage point, this is exactly what you want to see within the market: high volume and for the most part, you know, green on the day. Now, from the daily chart perspective, the one plus about this is, and I'm sure some people are scratching their heads saying, "How can you even say there's one plus?" Uh, but the one thing that I do like about it is, yes, it gapped down and that was brutal. You know, that nobody wants to see that, but it's not like it just kept falling down. If anything, it found a bottom right when it gapped down and then, you know, stayed uh, green for the rest of the day. Uh, the worst case for these is, you know, so you have a close up here, you know, the candle opens up down here, and then the rest of the day, it just continues to fall, fall, fall. Those are the really nasty days. Um, that didn't happen, so there's a chance that maybe this was some sort of capitulation where um, whoever wanted to get out got out today yet. Yeah obviously had enough people here to absorb those shares and maybe uh, you know uh, the remainder of the week it'll start to head back up you know is that a guarantee no it's not but it is a, a plausible scenario that maybe this was some sort of capitulation where the bulls will be able to start to push up um, the remainder of the week because uh, this big seller is out and all the shares were absorbed but that's uh, definitely just kind of a wait-and-see situation so quickly we'll just start off with the support that's the pretty obvious one, simply the low of today, which was at uh, 0.0032. That's the level where if that one fails, then, uh, you know, you're basically, uh, as you can see here, um, if that one falls, you're probably headed right back down here to the you know, 0 0.0015 area, which is where the lows are back before basically the stock woke up and went on this big move. Um, so that's what we're looking at from that point. Now, the key level here is going to be the low from a few days ago. This is going to be the key resistance where if this one can fall, meaning that the bulls can get above there and start to put some closes above this level, uh, being 0.012, then possibly this window could close. And what I mean by that is lots of stocks, you know, they'll gap up and then people are always talking about, oh, it's got to close the gap to the downside. Well, that pertains to the upside too. Um, and a lot of people are all about gap closes. So, if this level can fall here, this is a key resistance. Will it happen in you know a couple days? Probably not, but I wouldn't be surprised at all then to see this gap area close right here. Meaning the price comes up here, you get some closes, and then over time it works its way back up here. And from where it's at right now, you know that'd be a nice percentage trade right there. So that's a possibility. But you know first, uh, you know first things first, got to see if the uh, bulls are going to be able to push above this uh, low right here, 0.012. So I'll just leave that blue, I guess, as kind of a price target if this level can fall. What would be really nice is if tomorrow you get another nice big volume day and you get a close above this this high right here, or better yet, have a, just a monster day, get a close above there. That would probably cause a lot more momentum and chart players to pour in, and you know you could really have a nice solid bounce play. That's another thing. Sure, this is a, a nasty day if you had bought in, but on the other side of the coin is... These are attention getter charts, and what I mean by that is you're, you're going to have a lot of people talking about it, saying, oh, look at this big gap down, look at all this volume, but hey, look how it held up. Maybe this is going to bounce. People love bounces. People love bottom feeding plays, and this is exactly what this is. So kind of, um, you know, virtue of the, the, the nasty day, that's also the pro to that would be it's put a lot of eyes on it, and a lot of people will be, uh, you know, keeping track and seeing how this reacts. So if it shows it can continue to move up the rest of this week, uh, there's going to be plenty of eyes on it that'll probably want to, you know, pour in and try taking a position. So that's the one benefit is you could get a very nice bounce here, just based on the fact that, um, you know, the spotlight is now on the chart uh, due to this kind of bad day to day. But at the same time, a good day in the sense of it being able to hold up and get good volume. So the rest of this week will be very interesting. I know for sure just by the sheer amount of requests I got, there's lots of eyes on it. Uh, but now it's up to the bulls to keep showing that this can move up. And if it can, uh, you know, more volume is going to, the volume will stay strong because people 
uh, will want to try to make a trade in it. So we'll just have to wait and see here. If there are any other questions, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. You go there and sign up for the free newsletter. You'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting good reviews. And then with your uh, newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big board. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It's all free, so it's worth at least signing up and checking out. We've been making some good money together, um, so you really got nothing to lose. One more time, this was XMDC. Thanks for listening.